Once in an interview, she explained her name Teddy means a big pear tree. She was a cashier at a convenience store, part-time assistant in a newspaper company, a clerk at a movie theater, soy milk salesperson at a grocery store, and all parts at KFC. Growing up, she was a sleepy hat. She is a big fan of BTS. Just like Nahi Do from 2521, she is serious in keeping diary. Once again, I'm so glad she didn't follow her heart to become a graphic designer. Annyeonghaseya! Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you! A South Korean actress, Kim Tae-ri, was born on April 24, 1990, in Seoul. She was born as a youngest child in a family of four. Once in an interview, she explained her name Teddy means a big pear tree. There were many pear trees in the village where she was born. And those trees had pear flowers in full blossom when she was born. So her father named her Teddy after the pear tree. How sweet. In the same interview, she answers a question about her childhood. I was just an ordinary kid. I wasn't quiet, but wasn't noisy either. Like many other kids of that age would do, I liked hanging out with my close friends. I liked to draw. So I went on to a local high school that specialized in design. After graduating middle school, she goes to a vocational high school and majors in graphic design. But she soon felt she didn't fit for that. After graduating from high school, she aimed to become a news announcer and goes to study journalism and communication at Gyeonghee University. Until then, she had no interest in acting nor was she in movies. Like most people, she enjoyed movies only up to the extent that she would go see popular movies only produced by famous directors. It all happened during her sophomore year of college. She happened to come across an announcement recruiting new members for the college theater club. Just to add more fun and colors to her college years, Kim Teddy joins the theater club. From that, she realized she likes every bit of the theater works, including stage preparation, performance, audience, and especially the applause from the audience. She says she had great fun while on the stage. That feeling was something she had never experienced before and was convinced that she would never get tired of having a career as an actress for the rest of her life. In an interview with Star News in 2016, she says, I thought it would be nice to walk this path for the rest of my life. I was so sure. I knew this was for me. When I am faced with making choices as I go on with my life, I tend to make quick choices. Even then, I was just so convinced I was meant to do it. I didn't have any worries about the future. I just wanted to do it. Simple. From the interview, we can take a glimpse of her thoughts and mind. And many of her fans say she overlaps very much with the character Nahi Do she played in the drama 2521. Before the debut in her acting career, she had several different part-time jobs to pay off her tuition and earn living expenses. She was a cashier at a convenience store, part-time assistant in a newspaper company, a clerk at a movie theater, soy milk salesperson at a grocery store, and all parts at KFC. Maybe because she had done so many different jobs, in an interview, she showed confidence that she could manage to find her own way of living in any environment. While switching in between jobs, she continued to work in the theatrical troupe and tries out for many auditions but faced multiple rejections. In 2016, Kim Tae-ri made her feature film debut in Park Chan-wook's movie The Handmaiden, where she was chosen from 1,500 actresses who auditioned for the role. For her performance in the film, she won the award for Best New Actress at the Blue Dragon Film Awards, Director's Cut Awards, Bu Il Film Awards, and Busan Film Critics Awards. Since then, she solidifies her position as the main leading role in several different films and drama series, including 1987, When the Day Comes, Little Forest, Space Sweepers, and historical drama Mr. Sunshine. More recently, Kim Tae-ri gained further recognition for her leading role in the TVN coming-of-age drama 2521. 
She is now one of the most successful actors in Korea and known to have a great ability for selecting good scripts and good directors. That's why the director's lineup in her acting career is very glamorous. Fun facts about Kim Tae-ri Growing up, she was a sleepy hat. She slept a lot when she was in school. She said she was often late for school, and once, Kim Tae-ri didn't wake up until the third class, so a friend of hers had to go all the way to her place to wake her up. She played like a fool in her freshman year of college. One time, she drank at a friend's house and didn't come home. Her family filed a missing report to the police. She loves to travel, but she says she never plans out anything except destination. Once she gets to the destination, she enjoys being a spontaneous traveler. She likes to exercise. She likes walking and biking. In particular, she enjoys hiking. She has been going to the mountains whenever she has free time with her father since childhood. She goes to Mount Hala in Jeju Island almost every year. She enjoys doing things that interest her at the moment. So, things she does for fun frequently change. She was once into mini plots, puzzles, computer games, etc. She also enjoyed playing PlayStation games. She is a cat lover. In 2017, she happened to pass by some stray cats and brought them home with her. Ever since then, she lives with three cats. They are Auri, Pomi, Komi. This is her drawing of her cats. I am so glad she chose to be an actress. Don't forget to subscribe. She goes by many nicknames. Kim Tel, quite obvious where that's from. Teriyaki, another obvious one given by Ha Jung Woo, the co-star of the movie Handmaiden. Kobugi. Korean name for the pocket monster Squirtle. Her fans gave her this nickname because they look alike. And finally, Kim Popok. Popok is a Korean word for stride length. This was given because she always walks confidently with big strides. She is a big fan of BTS. Her favorite BTS songs are Intro, Persona, and Spring Day. She says she particularly likes BTS where they often share their personal thoughts and stories through their music. Just like Nahi Do from 2521, she is serious in keeping diary. She says she has a bad memory. For that, she tends to carry a pen and diary with her as a habit to preserve her memories and organize her thoughts. And for each word, she makes one notebook to write down question and opinion about the scenario, the efforts she made to find the answers, and the things she needs to work on more. These notes are also referred to during interviews. She doesn't have a personal SNS. No Instagram, no Facebook. She says she doesn't want to start one because she's afraid that she will end up paying too much attention on it once she had it. However, her Instagram account created on February 5th is managed by her agency. She likes to listen to podcasts in various fields including politics, science, language, reading novels, and book discussion. She usually falls asleep listening to the podcast. In 2019, Kim Tae-ri broadcasted live stream on VLive to communicate with her fans. That live stream became quite a topic on the net because of her unexpected and unique charm. Many people who watched her live stream responded, She's like a weird literature teacher every school has. Is Kim Teddy always that weird? If you want to watch a footage of the live stream, here you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Once again, I'm so glad she didn't follow her heart to become a graphic designer. We all love to watch her on television screen as an actress. Some of you became her fan after watching the movie Handmaiden, and some after watching 2521. No matter how you first encounter her, this talented, charming actress will capture your heart with thousand different faces. Thank you for watching. Bye.
Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.